Hi, welcome to this video. So this video is a part of the popular Udemy course on hands-on natural language processing using Python. So if you really enjoy this video, then make sure to check the description section where a special coupon directly to the course is given. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this natural language processing tutorial. And in this video, we are finally going to get started building our first text representation model, which is the bag of words model. So say we have these three simple sentences, right? So it is going to rain today. Today I'm not going outside. I'm going to watch the season premiere. So these are the simple sentences. And now say you have to perform some kind of NLP task using these sentences, whether the task is text classification or text summarization or anything else, right? So, you know, whatever you are going to do, you are going to apply some kind of algorithm. And that algorithm works mainly on numbers, right? It works on floating point or integer or whatever numbers and so on. So that algorithm can't really directly work on the words or sentences that we have over here, right? So we can't just feed in this whole sentence and do some kind of analysis. So we need to convert all these different sentences into an intermediate representation or a model and then we can feed that model to some algorithm to do any kind of analysis right so let's find out how we can really use these three simple sentences to create the very simple bag of words model so the first thing that we are going to do is we will pre-process these sentences now if you look at these sentences you can pretty much say that it's already pre-processed, right? We have already removed the different punctuation marks and so on. But, you know, we will do one more thing, which is we will convert all of these sentences into lowercase. And after that, we will, you know, pretty much have something like this. So all of these sentences are converted into lowercase. And next, what we are going to do is we are going to tokenize each of the different sentences over here. So after tokenizing, we can have something like this, you know. So we have this sentence one, which is, it is going to rain today, then sentence two, and then sentence three. And now we have to form a histogram out of all of these tokenized sentences. So what is a histogram? Well, you have all these different words, right? So we are going to pick one word, say we pick this word, it, right? And then we are going to find out how many times it appears in all of these sentences. Now, as you can see, it appears once and then it pretty much appears nowhere else, right? So it will have a value of one, right? Similarly, we are going to look at is and then we are going to look at going and so on. And, you know, we are pretty much going to build a dictionary where each of the different words will be keys and Corresponding to those keys, we will have the values which will be the count of that particular word in the whole corpus of documents. So this is how we are going to start building it. So initially we have the word it, right? So it only appears once in all the different sentences. So let's find out what is the next word. Well, the next word is is and you know, we are pretty much doing all these iterations by sentence so we are getting all the words from the first sentence first and then we will look into all the words in the second sentence and so on so is appears once going appears once two appears once rain once today once and so on right and now when you look at the second sentence so you have the first word which is today well today is already in our histogram right so we don't need to enter one more today over here we can pretty much just increase the count of this existing today so we will have today of two and then we have another word which is i well i is not in the histogram so we will have to add it so we'll have i and the corresponding value is one similarly we have am over here which is also not in the dictionary so we will have am and one and then we have going well going is already in the histogram right so we are going to make this one as two and you know we have not which does not he appear over here so we will just add not as another word and we will just add one over here and so on then we have outside which is 
also not in the histogram and so on so this is how we are going to you know iterate through all the different sentences and we are going to create a histogram out of it so after we are pretty much done then we will have a whole histogram just like this right so we have all the different words and the count of these words right the, the number of times this word appears in all the documents in the corpus so now what we would have to do is we would have to sort this whole dictionary or histogram by the count so how can we do that well as you can see that going has the highest count which is three so when we sort then going is going to appear at the top right so here we have going then we would have you know what is the maximum word well the next maximum word is two so we can have here two similarly after that we would have today then i then am then all the different words right over here right and you know when we are building this whole bag of words model we really don't want to count all the words you know we don't really want to consider all the different words that appear in the different documents we are going to consider some fixed number of words and you know when the reason is that say here we have only say three sentences so the number of words there are what about 14 but say you are analyzing about 50,000 or you know a million sentences and so on so there you will find words in the numbers of say 70k or 80k and so on so you can't really analyze on that huge amount of words right so you need to reduce the amount of words and that is the reason why i'm just showing you that how we can really do that because you know you need to know when you are doing it on huge corpus of data so you sort the whole histogram you got this and now we have to filter right so we have to filter it and we are here considering 10 most frequent words so you know these are the 10 most frequent words right so we are not going to consider any of these four words so after we filter it we will have something that pretty much looks like this and now using this whole dictionary we are going to create a matrix or the bag of words model right and this is how this matrix is going to look like so here as you can see we have all the frequent words as the columns of the matrix right so we have go to today i am it is rain dot outside and so on and then in the rows we have the different documents so we have three documents so here this is document one this is document two and this is document three so now let's find out how are we going to fill out this whole matrix so you know this is the first sentence right it is going to rain today and now we are going to scan through this sentence word by word right so we will first see this word it then we will see the word is then the word going then the word to and so on and we will just figure out whether you know this word appears over here in the matrix or not and if this word appears then we are going to put a one over here so you know the let's just find out how we are really going to do that so first we have the word going right now this word going does it appear in the first sentence well it does appear so we can just put here a one next we have the word two does the word to appear in the first sentence well it does so we can again put here another one then we have the word today does it appear in the first sentence well it does so we will put here another one and then we have the word i well i does not appear in the first sentence so we can put here a zero so you know if the word appears it's a one if the word does not appear then it's a zero similarly am does not appear so we'll put here a zero it appears so we'll have a one is appears so we'll have another one rain appears so we'll have another one not does not appear so we'll get a zero and outside also does not appear so we'll get another zero so similarly we can fill this for the second sentence as well you know just like this so we'll have ones when the word appears we'll have zeros when the word does not appear and similarly we will have this whole matrix right and this is our bag of words model right so in the columns you have all the frequent words and in the rows you have all the different documents and you have ones and zeros corresponding to you know whether the word appears in the document or the word 
does not appear in the document so initially we had this right we have these three sentences and we converted it into this bag of words model and you can now feed you know feed this model to any kind of machine learning algorithms or nlp algorithms and analyze the three sentences so you know when we are really working with huge corpus of data say when we are doing the text classification thing then you will find out that we will be looking into a huge corpus of data with about 50,000 or 40,000 different rows of text there we won't really have 10 frequent words rather we would have about 2,000 or 3,000 frequent words right so we'll have a matrix of say 40,000 rows and 3,000 columns and we will be doing analysis on those matrices so this is pretty much it this is how you build the bag of words model and starting the next video we will find out how we can really build our own bag of words model in python directly from scratch without using any kind of libraries so that's it and i will see you in the next one